What's up guys, it's Yazzie Carter back with another video. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I am going to be doing a Timu Beauty haul. So, so I got some products from Timu and I just wanna do this haul for you guys. Um, my code and links to all the products will be down in the description and my code will also be on the screen and pinned to the comments. We have this huge bag of Timu stuff. It came pretty fast and I got like a bunch of makeup and beauty stuff. So this is just gonna be the haul portion of the video. And I'm also going to be doing like a full face. So make sure you stay tuned for that video and have your notifications on for it. So this is just gonna be the haul and like unboxing portion. The first thing that I grabbed is these nails. I actually forgot that I got these. They are just these nails press on nails so let's open them up here's what they look like i don't know if y'all can see them i'll pop a picture up on the side of each item probably just so you guys can get a clear idea of what they look like and then what i've got so this is this i'll probably do a video like a short with these nails um it came with this and it also came with these sticky things, which is like if you don't want to use nail glue or if you just want like a quick set, you can just pop them on with those. So I'm gonna put these in my nail drawer. Ooh, okay, so the next thing that I pulled out are these Hendayan liquid lip gloss. This looks like a gift set because it says to and from. So it just comes with these four lip glosses. Let's open them up and hopefully get some swatches. So this is what they look like, just these four lip glosses. I just swatched this white, bright red. So it's a good swatch. Whoa. That is a very, 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 very bright red. It smells like shea butter. It's more like the texture reminds me of like a Milani liquid lipstick. It's not really gloss, but it's not matte either. It's just like a regular lipstick in my opinion. Um, of course, we'll do a more in-depth review on the try-on portion. They are kind of small, but for the price, it was a good price for them. Just got a good shade. Oh, I like this one. This is really pretty. It's like a wine type red. I'd probably use this one more than this one. Same smell, shea butterish smell. Oh yes, that is really pretty. Oh, that is really pretty. That is my favorite. That's kind of like an everyday one. So there's all the colors. They are super pretty. And I'll have the total and everything down below of all of these products. I think it was like $50. I can't remember, but that is super cheap for all of the products that I got. I also got this set of lashes. It comes with five pairs of lashes. They're all the same, and this is just the style that I picked. Super pretty, let's open it up. Here they are. Nice pairs of lashes, very good quality as well. Like they're really good quality lashes. On to the next. This is a huge palette. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but it was very cheap for this color range that I'm about to show y'all. So this is the Coco Urban Sandstone 32 Shade Eyeshadow Press Powder Palette. Let's just talk about the packaging real quick because this is really pretty packaging. Um, and I like how it has an expiration date because sometimes you never know. Even though it says like 24 months or whatever, you really never know when the expiration date is in my opinion because I don't be remembering when I bought stuff. So I like that it has an expiration date on it. So let's open it. One minute, two. Oh my God, it's so pretty y'all. So many shades and I love that they all have names and it's a huge shade range. So I'm super excited to try this palette. So many different colors. So many different things to try so i'm super excited to try this palette there's so many different looks you can make with this palette okay it's not as pigmented as i would like but it it's it has a pretty good pigment it's not too bad let's try temptation templaton i don't know it says it looks like it says templaton if you guys can read it let's just give it a try 
Okay, that one has really nice pigment. Okay, so maybe it just depends on the colors. Maybe the glitters aren't that pigmented. Okay, so the next thing is, ooh, this set of pretty pink brushes. It's all of these makeup brushes in this pink shade. Here is the brush, just this really pretty pink shade. And the hairs are really nice. They don't come out too easily or nothing. So it is a really nice brush. And um, it has nearly every brush. It even has like an eyebrow brush, has face brushes, eye brushes, concealer brushes, literally every kind of brush you can think of that you would need for your makeup. So here is all the brushes unpackaged. Um, it feels like, like a hard plastic material, which I think is like the average for makeup brushes. Hair on the brushes is really great quality. Yeah, on to the next item that I got. Ooh, it's another pair of nails. So these are like this sage green and gold set. French tip set, it's like a really pretty set. I'm super excited to try this. It also comes with the file and cuticle pusher, just like the other one. But these nails are really pretty. I'm super excited to try these. On to the next. So this is like a dupe for the Naked palette. Um, it's called Naked's. And then it says it's the 12 color eyeshadow. This one has an expiration date as well on the back. So I really like that. Here's what it looks like. And it comes with a brush. Okay, that is really pretty get a good old swatch okay it's pigmented yes it's a super pretty like good natural makeup like natural pink on to the next item i don't know y'all it's just like it keeps going so this one is the who Dyer, I think, Reset Concealer. Can't really tell by the packaging, so let's open it up. This is the new Instant Age Reset Eraser and erases dark circles. It's a treatment concealer with goji berry and haloxyl. I don't know how you say that, but this is what it looks like. I think it may be a shade too dark for me. Yeah, this is probably too dark for me for concealer. Yeah, that's quite way too dark. This would be more like a cream contour type thing, but it is a really nice product, I will say that. I don't know how I'm gonna use it yet, so on to the next. Ooh, okay. So this is the Pro Dual Contouring Stick Highlighter and Shading, and this is in the shade number three. So let's get it out. Ooh, this is a big stick. I don't know if it's the correct shade, but we're gonna find out. Oh, and it is matte. That is really high quality packaging, y'all. Look at the packaging. And then it says Pro Dual Contouring Stick, which is kind of blurry on y'all's end. This is really good quality. Okay, so this is the shading one down here. So this will be the contour. It's kind of like a lipstick kind of thing. And it is kind of orangey, but let's give it a try. Yeah, it is more of an orange tone, but we'll definitely give it a try in the try on haul video and try the highlighter. Okay. That is a good color. It's more my shade for like a concealer. So maybe I can use this as a concealer and then that can be like my cream contour. Maybe we'll utilize both of these. I don't know, we'll see in the video. So this is Mo by Mowbray and this is a poly gel in the shade Milk White. I thought it'd be fun to try out. It's just like a regular 15 gram poly gel. Um, I can't show you guys on the video because I'm not doing my nails, but I probably will show it in a short or something like that. So the next thing that I got is this Face Secret Defined Liner Pencil in the shade Muted Ink. It is lasting waterproof and velvet. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Oh, let me show you guys first. This is what it looks like. Really pretty color. Okay, that is pretty. It's a little darker than my natural lip. It smells kind of like a crown. <laughs> Yeah, we're definitely gonna try this out. And then last, but most definitely not least, I got a highlighter palette. Now y'all can probably tell I don't have a foundation, but I'm gonna, maybe I can try to make this concealer work as my foundation. We're gonna see what I can do with this. So yeah, I got this highlighter palette, so let's open it up. But this is color style, and this is the shade number one of highlighter blush mix, I believe. So you open it, and this thing comes out, which 
I don't really like the idea of that. But these are the colors. Highlighter mix. Oh, it's pretty. Y'all see that subtle glow? I like that. This will probably be more of a highlighter than blush for me. But we'll definitely make everything work to how it's supposed to work in the video. And we'll give a true review on the trying video. So make sure you watch that video. It'll probably be the next video after this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.